people would come up with allegations that we have to compromise. We have to let go some of the old guard schools. So we have to let go of some of our beliefs and convictions. Time changes. And this is not true. Would you ever shake hands with someone who raped your sister or mother? Would you join forces? Would you sit with them on the same table with a big smile on your face, hugging them, kissing them, taking selfies? Of course not. You won't be a man. You won't have a spine, let alone be a Muslim, if you do such a thing. Nowadays, <clears throat> people are doing worse. We've seen Muslims, so-called, quote-unquote, given condolences to the Israelis whenever an Israeli or two are killed, regardless if this is a terrorist attack or not. Regardless how you look at it, when you give your condolences to the enemy who occupied your land, who kicked your Muslim fellow and raped your sisters and mothers, and nobody dared to say a word, nobody gave their condolences for what they had done, the crimes they had done. 